welcome to Gemstone Tarot, House of the Creaky Chair. That sounds like a kind of Game of Thrones sequel, isn't it? The House of the Creaky Chair. Instead of having the throne, they could have my wooden falling apart. It's, it's getting actually, it's been glued now and it's getting creakier than it was even before. Um, this is for Friday 21st. Woohoo! And I forgot to say, Sun went into Cancer on Thursday the 20th. So we're in cancer season and the summer solstice happened in the northern hemisphere. And there's a full moon over the weekend. Oh my God. A full moon in, uh, well, I don't want to get this wrong. It looks like, I don't know why that's there. It's full Capricorn, it's got to be because it's the opposite sign of cancer. Sorry, I'm being really, slow i tell you what it is i've cleaned and i'm paying the price so what do you ever do this when you go in the shower in the morning and you look around and you think and you've been looking at it for maybe two weeks and the rest and thinking god this looks awful you know Shh, never mind <laughs> shut the door and then there comes that one day doesn't it which is usually the day when you've got something else that you should be doing ginger and lemon tea today and you think I must do it now so today was the day that I cleaned the shower and I really cleaned the shower you know and I didn't actually take the drain bit out because I can't do that but I did all of the rest of it scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and it probably looked very grim because um, you have to <laughs> I probably won't get into this but you can't clean the shower with your clothes on let's just put it that way just leave it at that um, so not a pretty size <laughs> as you're squatting and scrubbing with Jif and some old kind of sponge. But once I cleaned the shower, the rest of my head went completely blank. That's it. It's like I've used up my entire thing for the day. So yeah, okay. Oof. I had a look at the Fairy Doors community tab as well. Oh my God. Oh my God amazing i am astounded i'm astounded i'm very inspired and we must do something we now know we need a book club and we need a fairy craft club i need to find the best way of doing it this if anyone has any suggestions let's say about fairy craft club of any platform i could use for that that would be really helpful to me because the ideas i have the technical knowledge i'm really slow you know i kind of know youtube i know youtube but it has been many years, you know, but other things, I don't know them as much. So let me know if you can think of a social space we can occupy for the fairy door club. <laughs> that I honestly, that tickles me more than I can even tell you. Right, we are doing, oof, no cats today, by the way, healing cards, because I found them. These are Caroline Miss or Mace and Poof. Peter Occhio Grosso. Occhio Grosso. That's probably not how you say it, but I'm having a good old, I'm having a red hot stab. That's what they always say on my, I'm now on series or back, back series six, which I think is about 2013 of MasterChef Australia. I've been watching them um, from the beginning. I know, I'm completely addicted. It's my definitely my downtime thing. And also, I'm kind of, you know, so in some offhand way, I'm learning how to make stuff. Like, I reckon I could probably knock out a creme pat. A creme pat. Um, what else could I do? I could do a creme pat and I would know... Mm, I could do a croc en bouche. I mean, obviously not really, but I would know how to. You left me alone in the room and said, don't leave until you've given me a crock on bouche. I could have a red hot crack at that. Okay. Tell me in the comment section, what is the one either television program, you know, Netflix thingy or whatever that you watch over and over and over again, as in it doesn't matter, you can watch it over and over again. Okay. Let's have some cards from Caroline Mace. And they don't have a back and a front, these. So I'm just going to have to sort of put them like that. 
and do that and do that that's interesting that's very interesting so we've got speak we've got don't and we've got god and at the bottom of the deck over here we had god again but i thought we can't go on forever because none of these cards have a back do you see what i mean they have like a picture and they have a story on the back so i thought no we're not having that god card and then i thought we need the god card and then my little head went no we're not having the god card you've got to stop somewhere and then we get the god card anyway so for me i'm taking god to mean whatever spiritual entity you are into worship include work with whatever you want to call it speak or act with negativity and pain follows see i'm trying this i'm trying this very hard i try this all the time because this is true um, and the opposite is true as well like i've tried this and god it works i really must do a video on this so if you have a situation where you and mine always seem to occur when i'm speaking to call centers for some reason because that's how you get things isn't it and you're thinking well i bet they're going to do this and then they're going to say no to that blah 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 if you're going charlie brown teacher you know when she used to do that at the front of the class i love that because that is what you hear when you're a kid with your wooden desk and teachers like that but know that that is your charlie brown teacher voice you know you're droning onto yourself that this is gonna itch your nose happen and that is gonna happen change it and i know this sounds really and i get really irritated by this as well in a real hey change your mindset change the outcome yeah do you know the definition of madness doing the same thing and expecting different results you know all that kind of stuff i'm talking about this in a very simple way and i'm not claiming i know why it works but what is interesting and i guess we're going to call this empirical because i'm testing it and it's working the results are there is that it works so when you next have a problem like and it can be really minor but you like my street where people just leave their bins out all the time you know don't think oh no one ever looks for the bins the council never do anything even if that is absolutely what's happening just flip it and go I don't know how this is going to get solved. This is how I've been doing it. I don't know how this is going to get solved, but I'm really glad that it is. And then I just kind of keep, every time I start whiffling on about it again, I just go, no, that's done. That's done. We're all good with that. Relax. And then it kind of goes away. And then next thing you know, it could be a few weeks, sometimes not even that, it does get done. So that's my bit of advice to you today speaking or acting with negativity be mindful of being positive in all that you say and do you're not going to manage it in all you say and do because then you're going to be completely boring and one-dimensional and who loves a person who's positive all the time nobody okay they're not going to get invited to parties but what i'm saying is on the pain points and the things where you are definitely in a deficit you can flip it so that you're in credit okay know that each of your thoughts and deeds has the power to heal you and those around you watch them closely without judging we're only human but flip it when you can okay and don't be paranoid in a real oh no i've had a bad thought bad thing you know that's not going to work either because that in itself is a bad thought we're only human oh, we've got oh gosh lady with a oh what is that doggy I think that's a cockapoo, a lady with a cockapoo, one of those like dogs looks like it's sort of had a, a sort of perm. Don't ask to understand the secrets of the universe, which is what we were just saying really, but simply to know what this moment means. I'd even go as far as to say don't even ask what this moment means. It's easy to get lost in endless speculation, so today release the need to know why things happen as they do. Instead, ask for the insight to recognise what you're meant to learn. Yes. 
And then this one, God. Didn't create any illness without creating the remedy. Today, view every experience as a blessing, as far as you can, and a remedy that serves your well-being. Your healing path already exists within you. That's a reading, people. Leave me a comment. What's your most overwatched and still enjoyed television programme? And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.